Hello everyone, we are going to see the solution of this problem. So in this problem it is said uh, that two charges are there. One is plus 10 microcoulomb and second one is minus 10 microcoulomb. They are placed at points A and B separated by a distance of uh, 10 centimeter. And we have to find electric field at a point P which is uh, on the perpendicular bisector of A and B at a distance of 12 centimeter from the middle point. So if we draw a diagram. Okay, so uh, let's suppose this is the perpendicular bisector and I am going to mark the point. So this is our solution. I am going to mark the points. Let's suppose this is point A, this one is point B and uh, this is plus 10 microcoulomb. This one is minus 10 microcoulomb and this is point p which is at perpendicular bisector so i'm calling this point as p we have to find electric field at that point now what all things are given it is given that this distance is this distance is uh, 10 centimeter this distance is 10 centimeter 10 centimeter and this height height of p from perpendicular bisector is 12 centimeter so if i if i find out what is the distance of ap so ap and let's suppose we give a name to this point i am calling c so if i make one more triangle i'm Now, in this triangle, this point is A, this point is let's suppose C, and so this side, this PC, length of PC is how much? 12, and length of AC is how much? It will be 5 centimeter. So, uh, from Pythagoras theorem, I can say AP will be equal to nothing but 12 square plus 5 square, which will be equal to. 30 centimeter so i'll i'll get i'm getting ap as 13 centimeter now let us solve the problem coming back to the uh, initial diagram in the diagram if you see if you see that uh, the electric field due to point in charge uh, at 10 microcoulomb which is kept at a will be like this away from a and so I'm calling this one as EA and the second the second uh, electric field which will be because of the second charge will be along PB since it is a negative charge so it will be along towards the charge itself along the line PB. Now I'm calling this one as EB. Now at the point P itself I'm going to make I'm going to assume two axes one is x and other one is y i'm going to call it and call this one as x axis this one as y axis now we are going to see how the components of ea eb along e uh, x axis and y axis are going to uh, become so before going to that let us uh, talk about the angles so if this angle is theta if i'm assuming theta means in this triangle if it is theta then this angle will be how much this angle will be 90 minus theta and this angle will become 90 minus theta so this angle will become what this angle will become again theta similarly for this side since it will be a isosceles triangle it will become a isosceles triangle this will be again theta this will be 90 minus theta and this angle will become again theta so again redrawing the uh, electric fields at point uh, p and then we will write the equation so if you see sorry at point p this is point p electric field is ea is like this eb is like this and if we talk about x and y axis they are like this 
now it is given that uh, this angle is again theta and this angle is theta not so let us take components of uh, this e vector along the x and y axis so this e e will have sorry e a will have e a cos theta this way and will have e a sin theta this way e a sin theta this way okay now similarly similarly the other vector the eb the eb will have eb will have 1 eb cos theta this way and eb sin theta this way now let us talk about what is ea and eb magnitude what is the magnitude of ea and eb so ea is nothing but k q by r square now r is uh, r is nothing but r is equals to length ap which is equals to length bp also so and a q is what q is 10 micro coulomb given to me this is what I am writing the magnitude of EA vector. Similarly, magnitude of EB vector will be what? It will be equals to K. Now, I, I will not write minus 10, minus 10 coulomb or minus Q. Why? Because I have shown the direction of EB. So, no need to mention. If it is a minus sign, that is why it is having this way. The direction is towards the B. That is why this direction is towards the B because it is a negative charge. So I will write the magnitude itself because the direction of the vector I have shown in the diagram magnitude will be KQ by R square only. And what is this R? This R is actually this R is AP. This is AP square. This one is BP square. So let us calculate so from here can i say since r is equal q is equal ea magnitude of ea will be equals to magnitude of eb which will be equals to k q by r square now let us write what was r r was uh, 13 centimeters so 13 into 10 power minus 2 meters and what was q q was 10 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb so this will become equal to it will be equal to um, it will be 9 into 10 power 9 into q is how much q is 10 into 10 power minus 6 upon r is 13 into 10 power minus 2 whole square so this will become equal to 9 by 13 square into 10 to the power 8 10 to power 8 it will be which is newton per coulomb this is the magnitude now let us talk about e net since since eb eb equal to ea in magnitude therefore therefore the y component the y components the y components of eb and ea will cancel each other now what is left then so e net e net at point p at point p will be equal to it will be equal to ea cos theta plus eb cos of theta which is equals to nothing but let's suppose two times of ea cos of theta now what is cos theta again coming back to the triangle so i'll write from triangle cos theta is base upon base upon hypotenuse base is 5 can you see base is 5 and hypotenuse is 13 
therefore e net will become you will get the answer as 4.1 into 10 to the power 6 newton per coulomb and if I write the direction direction of E net will be in X direction which we have assumed or or parallel to AB.